American foreign policy in the Middle East really goes back to the earliest days of our Republic. Uh, you would find that under, as soon as the United States becomes independent, we are no longer protected by the British Navy. And so American trade into the Mediterranean was under threat. Under threat of who? A group known as the Barbary Pirates, uh, essentially uh, city-states of Algiers, Tunis, and Tripoli, all saw an opportunity to make money from ships going through their region through extortion. You pay them and extortion and they won't attack your ships. Well, under Washington's administration, we negotiated a treaty with them, uh, which was ratified under President John Adams unanimously, where we agreed to pay that extortion. And, in fact, in Article 11 of that treaty, uh, the United States said that we can make this agreement with the Muslims because we are in no sense a Christian nation. This uh, treaty was published, discussed, and passed unanimously. But the treaty did not hold very long. By the time Thomas Jefferson becomes president, uh, the various uh, pirates uh, see an opportunity with the likelihood of war between France and Britain of upping the stakes, of increasing uh, the rates of extortion. Now, Jefferson had made a pledge to reduce our military ex expenditures, to balance the budget. And so he had uh, cut uh, the number of ships in operation. But once it became clear that the pirates were going to do this, he decided that negotiations and paying tribute should not be done, that we should instead use force to keep from paying extortion or blackmail. Problem was, he only had a five-ship navy, and he sent this navy there, uh, but gross incompetence managed to get the main flagship stuck in the harbor. Uh, and eventually had to be abandoned, and the crew was captured, and a mess prevailed. But into this environment stepped a unique character. His name, Stephen Decatur. Uh, he became commander, and he saw an opportunity here to try and use force successfully against the pirates. And this would make a great movie. You can just picture him leading a charge uh, on in Tripoli, uh, successful, and was able to get the, uh, the Bay, the leader, to agree to better terms. But we still paid tribute. The Barbary Pirates War, in fact, will go on off and on for almost 30 years. We will eventually win, uh, establish our naval, uh, permanent, almost a permanent naval squadron in the Mediterranean, and we will no longer pay tribute, but that's the beginnings of a long-term commitment and relationship in the Middle East, and, and in the process, we overthrow a government, uh, one of the pirate governments, and replace it with someone we thought would be more amenable to our purposes. Once he got in power, he demanded money too, and we wound up paying. Long story, complicated, welcome to the Middle East.